Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to do the pros and cons, like I've been saying, of getting an air fryer. Um, of an air fryer. And I've been wondering this for a while. Uh, you know, I have a cold right now, but I've been taking... Throughout the day, I've been taking naps off and on, so I feel pretty real rested. Real, I feel, I feel very real well rested. Now... When I started, I mean, I want to thank NT for sending me one. I think that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Like he said, like a month or two before he sent me one, I started seeing uh, Joe and Julie do uh, things in the air fryer. I never heard of an air fryer before. And I think that looks like a great a great idea, great invention. And uh, NT was kind of to send this to me. And I found some pros and cons because people are saying I need to get an air fryer. I want to get an air fryer too. And I thought I would do a little video just to let everybody know what's going on. Uh, because just like everything else in your kitchen, you have like the main cooking things that cook food, like the oven, of course, and the microwave. And most people have a crock pot, and now they have the air fryer, which is a new thing. My sister has the Instapot. And my sister was saying where she get air fryer for if she has the Instapot, maybe, you know, they both take up a lot of room and space. If you have limited space, maybe just stick with one. You know, definitely keep the crock pot and the Instapot. I know uh, Heather was asking me, I told Heather about that, she said uh, she was always on the fence about that because she didn't know if it'd be worth clearing off extra space in her kitchen to get air fryer. For her, I would probably say no because... She had a, you know, she had a big family like her and, her and her hubby and two kids, and I think it's probably it's not the best for two families. It only makes so much food at the time, you know. You probably have to cook things like two or three times, where well, you can probably cook it all at one time in the oven. Uh, as far as like cook, I think I think it's perfect for like a, you know, like one person or a couple or like maybe if you have like one kid. That's what the air, air fryer would be perfect for. Uh, and then I think there's some people that have like two or three or four air fryer, fryers in the house, but that's up to them. Uh, and there's other things like when I was cooking stuff, you know, you have to, you know, he said like it uh, takes a little while to get used to, you know, cooking times and stuff like that. Ed did it. I said, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, and a couple of things I think it cooked better in. Uh, in different ways, like the grilled cheese sandwich, I think uh, it's much better on the stove top and a skillet. You can control it much better because I couldn't get the browning I quite wanted with that, and then the cheese melted everywhere, and it was a big mess. Uh, I think it's much better. I mean, because there's some things that are better cooked in different places. Or I mean, people ask me to, to uh, try baked potato. I actually baked some potatoes in the air fryer, and it took a long, long time. But I, I, they were very good. Now, I, what I was thinking of if doing next time, you know, because I usually would put them in the microwave to bake a potato, and it, it microwaves them pretty quick. What I do is microwave them like halfway through, let it cool down, coat them with olive oil, you know, and, outside, and then put it in the air fryer, cook the rest of the way through. That, that'd be the way to do it. Uh, there's some other things. Uh, they, they said in here, as one of the tips, you know, they said uh, shaking small ingredients midway through the cooking process will ensure the ingredients cook more evenly. You know, you take it on, you shake it like that. But I think, in my opinion, I think it's better to take it out and then use like a spatula to flip them over. Or like with chicken wings, take a pair of tongs, preferably plastic ones, and flip the chicken wings over. And speaking of chicken wings, I bought perforated parchment paper. Because some of the recipes in the recipe book calls for that. And I think it works. It works pretty well. It's very lightweight, though. Of course, I picked up the wrong way. They're very lightweight. And they have, like, two sides. I got the 7.5 inch. I probably should have got the 9.5 inch. And I know Miss Brazil has a cooking channel. I uh, have a channel. She does stuff in the air fryer. And she was saying a safety, a word of safety... They said that some people were preheating the air fryer with having this in it without having food. These are very light. Make sure to, to weigh it down with food. But she was saying it could go in the heating element and cause a fire or burn off the heating element. I definitely don't want that. But basically the air fryer is like um, a fan heating element and then it goes down and it circulates air to cook the food. Um, 
Yeah, they cooked food with little or no oil. A few other things. Uh, I'm glad I read a consumer uh, some things about it. Someone said that they make sure if you have it, make sure it's like well ventilated, you know, like leave space for air to ventilate. That's why I said if you have limited space, a lot of people may it's not the best idea to get an air fryer. Uh, but also, they said it must be on like a heat resistant surface because someone was saying uh, that they had um, a vinyl tabletop and they cooked something on it and the tabletop cracked. And then they put on a butcher's block. It helped a lot. What I have, I have an elevated old cookie sheet, it's like a cooking baking pan. And I put on, I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. I should have showed that before in the video. If you saw me uh, use that, I'll show you what it looks like. It's an old baking pan. Because some of you see things that you don't use that much anymore. An old baking pan like this. Put like this on the surface and put the air fryer. Make sure it sits properly on there. And that's why I use it, and I have no problems. So that's one. That's one big thing right there. Uh, Cause the air comes out the bottom. They have air vents at the bottom, you know, and it gets up to 400 degrees. The one I have is 400. They said some other ones get to 450, but mine goes up to 400, which is fine. Uh, what else were they gonna say? Uh, also, they're a little bit of a hypocritical on one part. They said that uh, do not cook extremely oily ingredients such as sausages in the air fryer yeah that would be a mess I mean like some things like that breaded uh, schnitzel when I cooked it it made a huge mess the, the crumbs were real loose and with the grease it, 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 it uh, had like a weird crumb coating around the thing it was a pain in the butt even though it's a non-stick sir, the pain in the butt to get off you know but I mean, it said don't cook extremely oily ingredients such as sausage in an air fryer, but it does, but there's a recipe in here. Where's that? See, I can't find it now. You know. Yeah. So don't cook extremely greasy ingredients and then tells you how to make bacon in there. And there's no way in hell I'd make bacon in there. I don't want the spatter going up to the um, heating element causing smoke or uh, or just making such as, you know, there's no way in heck I'd cook bacon in this. But it cooks other items so fantastic. Chicken wings, homemade french fries. That's why if you have a bunch of kids, they'll want you to make the homemade french fries every time they're so good. And it just takes a long time, you know, to feed all those kids, probably. You know, if you have a lot of kids. You only cook so much at a time. And uh, hot dogs are fantastic. A lot of times, or maybe let them uh, thaw out in the refrigerator. I, I misspoke when I said I, I left it out to thaw out. I mean, I left it out in the refrigerator to thaw out. Uh, in the one video. And stuff like that. But aside from that... Uh, like he said, I think it's perfect for like one per. I know Wilson eats ASMR. My good friend who does, he says a great investment. I, I agree. I think it's a great product. Just know it's uh, strengths and weaknesses. You know, it can only do so much. It only has, you know, I mean, even when I had the 5.8 quart, which is a lot for me, one person. But I mean, even with the chicken wings, the chicken wings, I can only fit so many at a time. That could be, a, you know, a limitation, you know. But, I mean, I, I, I love the air fryer. I give it a 10 out of 10. I love it. I just know it's strengths and weaknesses. I think it's I think it's a good investment for some people and not as, as good for some other ones. You know what I mean? You know, if you have a huge family, uh, probably not the best thing to get. You know, it would be tough to cook for a whole family, you know, with that. And also, the handle, I think the hand, you have to supervise children around it because it's easy to get burned. You pull that out, and it's, like, really hot when it's cooking. And then with children, I mean, it's easy for them to take the handle and pull it off the thing, just like they had that warning about, like, on the stovetop where they have uh, the handles of uh, pots sticking out with boiling water. It's easy for a kid to grab and 
you know, pouring on themselves, you know. Or they had like a thing on the news about the stove being d dangerous, aside from usual stuff, where the kids would pull down the uh, uh, door of the oven and use that as a, as a, uh, as a step to grab, grab, grow up and reach something else. And they said some of the stove were, would fall on top of them. I mean, I think it's dangerous for little kids. You know, just be careful and, you know, and watch your kids, you know, around something like that. But aside from that, I think it's fantastic. It's a full on 10 out of 10 for me. I love the air fryer. But I thought I would do this video because some people, I mean, the public service, some people are saying they really want to get one. And that's fine. But I thought I would do this video telling about strengths and weaknesses. You know what I mean? Especially that. Make sure it's not heat resistant. I haven't, like, cooking right on. Uh, I only have so much room. The, the freezer. But I have it on this. You know what I mean? So I hope you like this video, everybody. Uh. Like I said, you know, be careful when you're pulling it out because, you know, you can't get burned. It said, like, wait a half hour before cleaning. Sometimes the cleaning can be a pain about the way it's shaped. Uh, that's why I would definitely never cook bacon in there. I think that's a ask for trouble. Or, like, uh, Dollar Tree has, well, it depends on the type of sausage. Like, uh, you get, like, uh, I see the Parkview sausage are already cooked. Those would be fine. I like it when, like, with hot dogs are already cooked. You know what I mean? Those are fine. But I know uh, Dollar Tree has the Farmer John sausage links that are for a dollar, and those are greasier now. They shrink up, and, and that'd be a disaster to cook in there. But you still could clean it, cook it in there. But I wouldn't. I would avoid stuff like that. And Joe said that I taught Joe. Joe said he never had much luck with cooking and baking the air fryer because you have to lay them out flat. And I, I think that'd be that'd be a problem. I'd avoid anything bacon. Or even talking about bacon wrap stuff. If I do bacon wrap stuff, it'll just be in the oven. It's just easier, you know what I mean? So I hope you like this. Please excuse my cold. I hope you like this video, the pros and cons of getting air fryer. I think I think it's very beneficial. I give the I give my air fryer ten out of ten. I love it. Thank you, Ed, for sending me. Just I thought it was important to do a video about that, the pros and, uh, and cons. And like I said, making homemade French fries, making it from frozen would probably be quicker. But I mean, making the fresh ones are great, but it just takes a long time. An hour to blanch. 20 minutes on one side at 400 degrees, 20 minutes on the other side 400 degrees. Um, I know uh, Lysippus was talking about the the Fry Daddy. He got he said I worked good. We we had a Friday a long time. We bought a second one. I don't know what ever happened to him. But I think those just ended up getting thrown away. But I mean those were great too when we had those. And we never bought a game wire. Dad, I think Dad was saying it was a, just a giant mess. I don't think he would like this either. The uh, The air fryer, but I mean, he complained about it anyways. I, I wouldn't want him going near it anyways. Uh, but I don't have to worry about it, though. No. But I hope you like this video, everybody. Until next time, thank you, Ed T, for sending me, and thank you, Joe and Julie, for uh, let me know about it. And then I heard this guy saying they saw like a bunch of infomercials about them where they had like lots and lots of stuff around QVC and stuff like that. I think it's a great idea. And I really love it. It's just important to know strengths and weaknesses before you buy one. I think I hope this video helped. So, until next time, bye, please. Take care of my leech.